Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Final Fantasy 7. This is episode 3 and we're about to learn the enemy skill Aqua Lung. This enemy skill allows us to hit multiple targets at once plus it deals a lot of damage for this stage of the game. We will primarily use this skill to farm new limits with Eris later on in the episode. You will automatically learn Aqua Lung for Cloud and Barret when the enemy that I'm showing you on screen uses it on your party. If you remember back in episode 2 I set a limit on how many battles it should take to catch the chocobo. The same rule applies here. If you cannot learn Aqua Lung within 2 battles, load your previous save and try again. After learning Aqualung, go back to Costa del Sol and enter that town inside of the buggy. This is very important. We need the buggy to travel with us back over to Junin so we can access an area on the world map we couldn't before. Once you make it back to Junin, drive toward Fort Condor and take a left at the first forest you come to. Cross the river, locate the cave, and talk to the man inside. You need him to tell you how many battles you've had since the beginning of the game. The only problem is that his response is random. Sometimes he'll ask about large materia, uh, sometimes he'll tell you how many battles you've escaped from. So if this happens, leave the cave and go back in. Keep doing this until he finally tells you how many times you fought. Memorize that number, go outside, and set up a save. If you've been following the guide correctly up to this point, you will have less than 33 fights. The man in the cave will give you mithril if your total battle count is odd and the first and last digit match. This is why I put a limit on the number of battles it should take to catch the chocobo and learn aqualung. So what you need to do is minus the number that you just memorized from 33. So if you look at my gameplay, he told me that I had 30 battles. So 33 minus 30 gives me 3. Let's say he gave you 28. 33 minus 28 is 5. Whatever number you come up with is the number of battles you need to farm so he'll give you the mithril. Now I need you to go back to the Mithril Cave and set up to farm new limits with Eris. Put Cloud, Eris, and Barret in your party and give an enemy skill materia to Eris. After that, set your battle speed to slow and create a new save.
Okay, farming for limits is very confusing because each character learns new limits at a different pace. So I'm gonna break this process down step by step. Disable no encounters to initiate random battles and keep pressing triangle as soon as the battle starts to skip over Cloud and Barrett. When it's Eris' turn, scroll down and select E skill from the command menu by pressing X. When the sub menu opens, press right on the D-pad one time and R1 twice. This will move your cursor directly to Aqualung and then all you have to do is press X to use the skill. Keep using Aqualung with Eris until she learns Breath of the Earth. This process will take no more than 20 battles. Increase Eris' limit break level so she can use Breath of the Earth. During the next battle, use Breath of the Earth six times. When the battle ends, she will learn Fury Brand. Continue to use Aqualung until she learns Planet Protector. This process will take no more than 20 battles. Increase Eris' limit break level so she can use Planet Protector. During the next battle, use Planet Protector five times. When the battle ends, she will learn Pulse of Life.
Now Eris is perfectly set up to learn her final limit break, Great Gospel, but we won't be able to learn it until episode 4. For now, let's exit the cave and put Cloud, Eris, and Tifa in the party. Then take the buggy back over to Costa del Sol. From there, we can make our way to Gungaga Village.
after talking with Zack's parents, leave the village without talking to Tifa or Eris, and then put Cloud, Barrett, and Red 13 in the party. Give the enemy skill material back to Cloud and drive the buggy over to Cosmo Canyon. Make sure to park the buggy just outside the canyon. After you save your game, you can find Barrett upstairs past the save crystal. Encourage him to continue talking about Avalanche by selecting the following two dialogue options. Number one, go on. Number two, and then.
When the cutscene is over, go downstairs and you'll find the party sitting around a campfire. You want to talk to them in the following order. Barrett, Tifa, Eris, and Red 13. Now you want to put Cloud, Red 13, and Barrett in your party. We have three battles coming up. The first two are normal battles, and the last one is a boss battle. But we can use the elixir that we picked up back in episode one to defeat that boss in one turn. You'll have a few more party changes coming up after the boss fight, but that will wrap up this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Be good.
If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, you can do so at Patreon. I offer a ton of rewards from behind the scenes coverage, RTC visual guides and workbooks, even early video access. Monthly pledges start at $1 a month and for those of you who support me already, I greatly appreciate it.